This is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more modern Minecraft playing some Simple Life 2. Having a good old time, you know how it is. We gotta go rescue Linda. She's stuck in our farm again. Our animal pen. Call the worker and watch out. Okay. Alrighty, welcome back everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing alright. Doing pretty good here myself. Um, loving life, of course. Playing some more Minecraft. We are actually working on getting our uh, our shovel here making it unbreakable so we did it with our pickaxe and our axe and now I'm ready to do it with the shovel and there are a couple of quests um, in relation to this in our tinkers chapter so we're gonna do those real quick uh, one of them has to do with mending moss and the other one has to do um, with the unbreakable reinforced whatever those things are called okay so let's open up our quest book real quick and take a look at tinkering around the first one is mending moss so there are many ways to improve the longevity of your tools and weapons one way is to gather together a ball of moss and imbue it with magical energies right click it on any bookshelf and you'll achieve mending moss a useful addition to any tool so you need 10 levels of XP which should not be a problem and then the moss ball is pretty simple you just need nine mossy cobblestone so let's see, I went and gathered some vines when I was out in the swamp the other day for this purpose. Okay, let's grab this. So we should pretty simply, yep, there we go, just be able to do this guy, moss ball, and then, do I even have, oh, I've got bookshelves inside some of these buildings. Good work, Linda, good work. I think there's some bookshelves inside our town hall here, and I need to go under and light up the... There we go. Light up underneath here. I've got like really good mob farming going on underneath our little platform we built. Because I didn't have torches with me at the time and figured, what the heck, why not? Yay! Oh, what's next? Mending moss complete. Ball of moss. Oh, I needed two of them? Alright, let's go grab two. Hopefully I have enough... Enough vines. Oh, I don't. Dang it. Alright, let's see. Let's go like this for now. Bummer. Well, we can grow some real quick, I think, too. We're gonna need these in order to get, I think I just need three. Um, three more. I need this to get the next quest. Dun dun dun. Okay, like so. Oh, what am I doing here? These guys, 10. And maybe actually we can just go grab some more mending moss. Boop. Okay. And I am bad at math. That's six, seven. I need two more cobblestone. Oops. That's fine. Okay. I need one oak fence. Yeah, I know. I need wheat. This guy's been bugging me quite a bit. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go grab some... Rather than growing this, because this is going to cause issues. I'll just go grab some more... Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Vines, more vines, that's what I'm thinking about. And I'll be back with you here shortly, so I'll see you in just a sec. Sorry to make a cut so quick, but we'll see, see you soon. <laughs> hey, welcome back. That didn't take me very long. There's a swamp not terribly far away, so not a huge deal to get this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight of these guys. One more of this. I'm not sure why we needed two, but that's what the quest wanted. <laughs> so, all right, hey, we got more mending moss. I probably won't use it. I might throw it on my yeah, um, sword eventually. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we need five reinforcements. There's a way to make reinforcements for tools that may prove to make them completely impervious to damage. By experimenting, you've discovered that you'll require five of these reinforcements to make a tool unbreakable. Oh, nice. Um, would've been nice to have a little while ago. Uh, mending moss, I'm just gonna chuck the mending moss in here. I'm not gonna need it at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> trying to keep my inventory clean. You guys know that as we play. Okay. Let's go over this way, and the next thing that we need to do is just grab a bunch of obsidian, which I've already mined. Uh, you just grab these large plates, so you get the plate cast, you put stone in here, grab these, put them in here, put gold, pour the gold over top, and that's how you get the large plate casts. Then all you've got to do, surround them with obsidian, and you get yourself five reinforcements. Cool. And we've got an extra five. Very nice. I wonder if we can just make mandolin real quick. Do I have a cobalt and an ardite? I do. Let's make that real quick since we're here. And 
one of these guys up here and one of these guys right there and let's put our ingot cast here while those smelt we can fix our tools so the way to do this easily is just grab it like so wrap it all the way around and you've got yourself five you can see um if you look here under the uh what is it called? The characteristics of the shovel. You can see I'm at reinforced four. Reinforced four. Oh no, we don't have, okay. We need one more modifier. So the way that we're gonna do that is by getting ourselves a paper, a paper um, piece of our shovel, uh, part of our shovel, I don't know. Can't think of it, part builder, okay. so. A shovel for a shovel. Okay, let's just do binding. I usually just do the binding out of paper because that's easy. Boom. Okay, then our tool. You throw your shovel back in here. Most of you guys know how to work Tinkers. Probably better than I do, but there we go. Now it's unbreakable. Boop. And you can see the durability is all gone. Perfect. So I'm going to save these here. I'm going to debate whether I'm not going to put it on here. If we make another tool, though, it'll be nice to make that unbreakable right off. Okay, ingot. Get ourselves a manual and ingot real quick. Since we have the goods for it. Boop. Should be able to get this quest now, yeah. Nice. More molten that. What else do we have? We have pig iron left and I'm pig iron. Okay. We'll look into some more of that later. I'm not really interested in getting all that stuff right now, but um I did want to get the reinforced on our shovel real quick. So let's go dump off. Running around with my head cut off. I feel like all kinds of disorganized. Let's see, this vine's gonna go back here. There it can go back here. And let's dump this, oh, this and this back in. I want my slime sling out. Oh, molten, molten, molten. Oh, one of the viewers, I can't remember who, suggested putting the molten buckets inside the actual drains. Hey, and it does work. Ooh, actually, that's not too bad. Okay. Well, what do you know? It works. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I will go... I'm gonna go to sleep real quick. Let me see... Why else do we sleep? I'm gonna look it up. Because I, I think whoever it was definitely deserves credit for telling me that's how you do it. So those... I, you guys remember a few episodes ago I was derping about trying to figure out... Um, exactly how the buckets were useful and I can't remember so hold on one sec I am looking on my phone right now notification oh, 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 oh. on my phone right now let's see ah Rethgual I think is how you pronounce it R-E-T-H-G-U-A-L said try clicking on the drain to put the liquid in so thank you very much for your tip I truly do appreciate it oh one more thing is someone suggested Sarah Morgan commented and recommended us going to the mining dimension to get our mining done. So that is actually what we need to do. I won't do it right now in this episode, but Sarah, thank you for your suggestion. I didn't even know the mining dimension was inside the pack. So thank you for the tips. Guys, if you have any other tips, tricks for the simple life too, please let me know. And speaking of, I've got one more, I think. Uh, uh, um, I think there was one more. 99 Blocks gives me tips all the time. He's watching the series and giving me some, some, um, some tips as I go because, you know, he knows the goods. So I appreciate that as well. Thank you, 99 Blocks. Truly do appreciate it, my friend. So, um, let's see. Matthew Bennett says there's a presser on the food mob that'll get you paper easier. So we'll look into that once we need more paper. Um, so thank you guys again. I truly do appreciate. I like. I appreciate the feedback. I, that way, you know, I know that people are watching, and um, at least they care enough to, to comment and say something. So, thank you guys. I appreciate it. All uh, right. Next, we are going to get into power today. That is the big, big goal for today. So the industrial age. Step number one into getting into power is we need to get into industrial engineering. Or immersive engineering. Immersive engineering. Don't listen to me. <laughs> the simple life does not shy away from technological advances, but you will need to start off with some basic combustion engines, wiring, and other tools before you can master anything more advanced. So this will unlock chapter eight, the industrial age, and we get some creosote and an engineer's manual, which is very nice. So to get this, we need the engineer's hammer. Just this guy. So I need two iron, a string, and some stick. I do believe we have all of that ready to roll. 
I need to smelt down some more iron, and I need to get that situated a little bit better. You know, I've talked about that, I think, in the last episode, maybe? About getting that so that we can build it easier. Two sticks. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And... Boom. So if I remember correctly, I believe a lot of the technological advances and technological stuff is gated behind steel. Modern machines. Yep. Basic capacitor. Okay. This chapter will require progress in the eight. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff is gated behind steel. So most of these things I think require steel if I remember right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are going to go to chapter eight, the industrial age. Holy simoleons. And get started. Snippity snap. Uh, hemp seeds. Ooh, industrial hemp. Toughening some seeds through heat treatment could work to straighten them or turn them into tasty roots to snack. Who knows? So placing any seed in a furnace will turn them into hemp seeds through heat treatment or some other kind of Minecraft science. Okay, so let's just get some regular seeds. And turn them into hemp seeds real quick. We're going to get into this industrial engineering stuff. Uh, let's just do... Let's do eight, since that's what, uh, oh, forgot this thing turns things around. <laughs> since, uh, a coal piece, I guess we have mini coal here anyway, which is more efficient. So let's build ourselves a double chest worth of, for storage here of our immersive engineering stuff. Eventually we're going to try, the goal for, or for the purpose of getting into all of this, for me at least, is giving us refined storage and I need to get myself a, an actual base situated as well so for now I'm gonna place down my immersive engineering chest right here this is obviously very very temporary uh, Crystal can go in there for now uh, so that is kind of the plan all right let's see if this will give us the quest oh also our book I don't need that right now the engineer manual perfect and we get 32 industrial hemp fiber thank you very much LV connectors we need to make ourselves a water wheel where is that guy at uh, chemical warfare these are just random things think the revolution begins oh no there are many ways to progress the technology of the world and some of them are fairly straightforward you'll need to investigate potential materials to get started on some design so we need a bunch of bricks some clay wah, wah. we're getting ready to build ourselves all these ovens let's see I've got a bunch of clay and some bricks so let's do Ew. I think we needed a half stack of bricks there's our industrial hemp seeds. We need to get these planted. So let's grab this guy. Let's add a little bit to our farm over here to get the industrial hemp fibers. Stuff's going. One, two, three, four. Okay, that'll plant all of those. And they should grow up nice and big for us. And then we can store them over there. Actually, let's maybe move this guy over here. Make it a little bit more user friendly. I might just put you there for now. This is a giant disorganized mess. For those of you who like organization, I apologize. We're getting there, I hope. Okay, let's see what else we need for the quest. Uh, some sandstone. Nine of them. So let's grab this guy and I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, hopefully the regular old sandstone works. Yep, and the next thing we need is the bricks. So these are gonna smelt away. Let's see if we can work on another quest while we wait. LV connectors. So connectors ha can have a single wire attached to them and will allow a current to pass to and from the block they are connect attached to. That includes kinetic dynamos, capacitors, and mining drills. Low voltage is your first port of call. So let's see if we can make LV connectors. Okay, we need some copper and some hardened clay. We're gonna need to go find a mesa. So I am going, because I don't want to smelt all my clay into hardened clay, you know how it goes. So, um, actually I wonder if we can even do that. Hardened clay, smelted, yeah. I think we can get hardened clay, but it may just be we may end up having to just smelt it, so maybe we'll do that right now. Uh, I need to make sure I keep 36 of these guys. Let's do some of those. We'll smelt out some car clay, get some hardened clay. We're getting close to our bricks. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for these guys to smelt, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. See you in a sec. Do, 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 do. Welcome back, friends. So we have just got ourselves the quest for 
Do, do, do. Sorry, I was out exploring and for some reason one of these said one of these quests had been completed. I don't know. Alright, so the revolution begins. Excellent, we get 64 coal. Very good. Uh, next we need the coke furnace, so we need coke bricks. Okay, let's do the LV connect wire connectors first. I think I need two of these guys. Hopefully they mix two, otherwise I'm gonna have to smelt up some more LV. Wire connector. Oh, copper. Let's go grab some copper. Hopefully I smelted some of this. I can't remember if I've smelted any copper or not. Do, do, do. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we get some LV wire connectors. Very nice. Moving right along. We get two more. We'll take it. Okay, so let's get ourselves um, the coke furnace. So once you have the materials on hand, turn them into coke bricks. Should be fairly straightforward. To create a furnace, simply place them in a solid 3x3x3 three 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 block, and then right-click the front of the cube with your engineer's hammer. So let's do some of that brick. Uh, coke will be quicker. <laughs> there are a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Coke brick. Boom. Boom. Very nice. Go ahead and claim that reward, creosote oil. We will take for sure. We need coal coke. So let's put our let's find ourselves a little area for some industrial engine. Is that what it's called? I keep missing immersive engineering. Good night. Uh, all right. I think maybe we'll s do this over here. I'm just gonna flatten this section out right here real quick, and we'll build up. The rest of this in a second. So I don't really know what I want to do for my base, which is not surprising. Uh, I feel like I in modded I never know what to build. Uh, I never feel like it's big enough or has enough room. And the easiest is always just like a cave or something. But I I, mean, I don't know. I want to try and avoid that if I can. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for um, what we what you want to see for a base, and I'll do my best to fulfill that. One two three. One two three. One two three. I think I actually have. Um, a diamond builder's wand. I use this for our platform over there. One, two, three, K, okay. and then we should. Uh, bing, perfect. Okay, so then we need coal. How much did we need? Coal, coke. I can't remember. That's not gonna help us. We need our quest book. Sixteen coal, coke. By placing coal in the coke furnace, you can purify it and get coal coke, this fuel that will be used for many things, useful for many things. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 16 in there for now, and we are just going to have to wait and see. I think this takes quite a while. Whilst we are waiting for that, let us see, purified, project it, we don't need snip snip, let's get the engineer's wire cutters. So all your power will need to be distributed through wiring to create the wires you'll need. Uh, you'll have to snip metal plates into strips and bind them. So let's get this and the snips. Is that what they're called? And no, engine. These guys, wire cutters. So I need an iron and two sticks. That should be pretty simple. We definitely have the resources for that. Linda, you're stuck in there again. We definitely have the resources for this guy. So one of these. Let's go grab some sticks real quick. Uh, two sticks and. Boom, boom, engineers, wire cutters, got it. Very nice, and we get LV wire coil, very nice. Uh, next, we need a hammer it flat. So with the wire cutters and engineers hammer to hand, it should be a simple process to craft wiring. First, you'll have to hammer soft metals into plates. So let's go grab a copper, and uh, we might need a couple of copper for a plate. I can't remember, hopefully it's just one to one, but so I know in some packs it's not. So let's try this, one to one, it is very nice. I think we only needed one for the quest, right? Copper plate. Oh yeah, okay, claim. Boom, done. Next, bendy string. Once the copper has been flattened, it's simple to snip it into lengths and voila, you have your first vias. So let's go ahead and get some wires going. Is it, oh nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, LV wire coils, we'll take those. Kinesis, ah, here we go. So this is where we wanted to get to, is the power stuff over here. Uh, MV, LV wire, let's make some LV wire coils real quick. Wiring is a, equally as important as the machines that are generating and using power. Wireless will lose a small amount of power as it travels, but it's still handy to have a few coils spare for hooking things up. So let's make an LV wire coil. LV wire coil. Okay, I just need a stick. Bendishring, thank you. Getting all our quest updates in the front of us. Make 
or at least shouldn't I have this? Wonder if why doesn't that detect? No, okay, we actually have to kind of craft it, I guess, which is fine. That makes sense, right? Boom, LV. There we go, and we get two more. Perfect. So, what's the LV capacitor? That's probably not a bad thing to have as we get ready. Once you have a power being generated, the capacity to store some of it would be useful. Each capacitor requires the relevant level of wire to function correctly, i.e. LV capacitors cannot work with HV wiring. We get another one as a bonus. So let's see, LV capacitor, some treated wood planks, redstone, lead, iron. I think I've got everything I need for this. I don't know if I've smelted up lead though. I have not, but I have some here somewhere. Did it go? Lead ore. Let's do all nine of them. Boom. And how much of this is six ingots? So this is annoying part of having not having this automated. Is I've got to do it this way. Boop. <clears throat> Whilst we wait. Okay, let's put the manual in over here. Oh, that goes really quick. Molten lead. Very fast smelting. Luckily. We'll come back and clean this up. I just want to get what we have now. I think I only needed one, right? For the connector thingamajig? Yeah. And then treated wood. I need buckets of creosote oil. I've got... Uh, yeah, we just gotta surround it with planks, so that shouldn't be too bad. Let's go grab ourselves eight wood planks of any variety. Um, dark oak, because I will never ever build with these. And like so, like so. Around and around we go. Treated wood planks, K. Then let's go back this way, grab ourselves some redstone. I think I needed a couple of those. Our inventory is already a mess. Oh, we need three iron. And what was the other thing I needed? A lead ingot. Oh, right. These are still a block of lead. Okay, now let's try. Now let's try. We should be able to get ourselves an LV capacitor. Boom. Very nice. Up off that. Okay. Gather up our quest reward. We get two. Very nice. Okay. Let's go check on our LV capacitor. Hey. Let's go check on our coal coke. Yeah, okay. Burning, 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 burning. This takes a while. Next, let's get ourselves the Kinesis. The most valuable piece of kit for energy production is the Kinetic Dynamo. This can be attached to any turning rod and magnetized coils will generate an RF charge that can be used to power machines. So we need to get ourselves a Kinetic Dynamo. Kinetic Dynamo, and that is a copper coil block. So I need eight copper wires and an iron ingot. Okay, that shouldn't be horrible. Oh, we need to eat real bad. <laughs> Running out of energy here, so let's do that. I need to dump off some feathers I have for some reason. Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna dump off a bunch of clay to actually... Yeah, I'm gonna dump off a bunch of clay right now. We will maybe smelt that later. What else can we dump off? We can dump off some of the berries. I think that's good for now. Okay. Copper wiring. The LV wire coils we have enough of, so let's do this like so around this guy. And then I think I need three more iron and I am out of iron. Da, 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 da. Let's grab that out. Nine more iron. We'll dump those in here. Watch this smelt. And I have eight ingots of gold. What else do we have? Smelt this stuff away. This is the fun part, right? Just watching everything smelt. Boop. Lead can go. This is mostly vanilla. Here's some more modded stuff. Manulin. How are we doing on our iron? We're getting close. Two more ingots of manulin. Need to get this automated. Need to get it automated. I've said it about a million times, but I still do. Ooh. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure. No, we got eight ingots of gold. That's kind of an unmoxious amount. I'm just one shy of. Actually, you know what? If we throw one gold ingot in there, then we'll have a block and that'll go quicker. Uh. Dun dun dun. Come on, smelt. Boop. All right. We need some more iron. It's getting to be nighttime. Hopefully this will smelt, and we can get this going quickly. 
And we're gonna go sleep. We're gonna go sleep. It's not worth dangering ourselves with the mobs all around. Do do do. Okay. This guy. Oops. Over this way. Come on, iron. You got this. 100% kick. Okay, boom. Iron like so, and then we need the kinetic dynamo. Perfect. Hey yo. Excellent. Rare loot bag. We'll take it. Wind power or water power? I think we want the water power. So we need water mule segments. The movement of water can also provide a regular source of power. The water wheel can be optimized by having the water run over the top of it and down the side, eventually flowing away underneath. So we need four water wheel segments. And I wonder what these require. Water wheel segments. A bunch of treated sticks and wood. I, we may have enough to make these. We'll see. Eight of those water wheel segments. Oh, no, we don't have enough. Let's go get ourselves. To, I swear I had another creosote oil a bucket. Creosote oil bucket somewhere. Perfect. Should I hope, in theory, be able to get the rest of this right now? Round like so. Creosote in the middle. Boom. Boom. And let's do another one of these guys. And like so. And I think. Boom. We got him. Water power. Another loot bag. What's next? Oh, now we need a water wheel, of course. That would make sense. Then we just need a steel ingot. Dun, dun, dun. We are gated behind steel. Before we can even get a water wheel. Getting close, though. Okay, then let's see. Let's. How do we get to the steel? We need these guys. The furnace. When is it that we need? It's not this guy. Coal coke. We need the coke oven, I think. Purified fuel, treating wood, furnace upgrades. Yeah, we need this guy. So we need to get ourselves the coal coke. I'm going to go ahead and make a cut real quick, and we'll jump back once the uh, coal coke is ready. See you in a second. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back. How's it going? So I think we are ready now to get our oops, creosote oil going. I'm just going to empty this out real quick. I actually made this um, tank to go grab some lava for our tinker smeltery, but it's coming in pretty handy for gathering up some creosote. And I think there's a way to automate this so that it'll automatically input into a tank or something, but for now, we're just using this method. This will work. Uh, whoop, dropping stuff. Okay, so I think we've got enough coal coke now to get our quest complete. And that's good. Claim some more coal coke. We will definitely take that. Um, treated wood, we need eight treated wood planks. I don't have that, actually, let's go dump off all of these as well. Boop. And I'm gonna keep one, since we need one for some treated, or treated wood planks real quick. And then I think we are ready. The next one, so let's see. Eight, perfect, oops, perfect. So we throw a torch down randomly, so boom. That good? That's good. All right, then let's punch this guy. We're gonna go to sleep real quick so that no mobs spawn. Bum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. So we went and got ourselves some lava and a bunch of like random other assorted goodies. I've also been up uh, off camera. I've been smelting a bunch of metals because we're gonna need them, I think. So there's a whole ton more <laughs> planks. So we need nether brick, brick, and blaze powder. Guess what? It's time to go to the nether. I have not been there yet. So let's grab ten, oops, ten of these guys. Make ourselves a nether portal. I'm gonna let you guys come with me for the first little spawn and then because we're running short on time and I wanna get to power before the end of the episode, I am going to um, make a jump cut. I need this flint and steel. And I'm gonna go grab all the things that we need. Uh, 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 and then we can come back together once we are ready because I want power and I need it no we may actually may not make it I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna stick this over here because I hate looking at the portals <laughs> I hate having the nether portal near my base it's annoying loud and obnoxious so put this guy here one two one two three Helps if you know what the right size is. Okay, like so, flint and steel. And 
grab some of this junk. Ow! Oop. Thank you. Okay. Let's go take a look. We'll take a peek at the nether together. And, um... Hopefully it's not horrible. I don't know if 99 blocks has changed this. It's been so long since I played the pack. I very I remember a few things, but not everything. So let's see. Come on, terrain, you got this. We need to go deeper. We made it. All right. So not a horrible spawn. We just need to go find ourselves a Nether fortress. So I am going to be back shortly. We need Nether brick and blaze powder and all that fun stuff. What is that thing? Okay. Anyway, so I'll be back in a little bit. <coughs> all right, folks. Here we are. Last one, number 36, and I think yes, we should have the furnace upgrade quest done. Get a bunch of iron ingots. Very nice. And next, we need to get ourselves steel. So this is the the gate, the big one. Whew, we're almost there. With the increased heat and pressure, as well as the oxygenated nature of the fuel, steel is finally within your grasp. Its creation will open up a whole new areas of technology to explore. So we need to get ourselves the. Let's see, it doesn't want us to build blast furnace bricks. It does not. So let's just go build it ourselves. Blast. Bricks. So we're going to need a crafting bench or table, and then we should be able to make it. Here it goes. Boop, boop, boom. Okay. And I think is this a three by three by three? Also, it seemed to make sense. Let's move this. Here we go. Give it a couple of blocks. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually a hollow right here, and we go up one more block, right? Ah, uh, need to double check. I can't remember off the top of my head. You guys are probably all derp. Know that I'm derping. Let's go like that. See if that works. Where's our hammer? Engineer hammer. Boop. Okay, perfect. So then we need to throw some coal coke in there, as long with some iron, and that'll get us some steel. So I'll be back once we've got steel. See you in a sec. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we are. We've got ourselves some steel ingots. Go ahead and drink up some blueberry juice real quick. And there we go, we've got 21, so not too bad. And then we've got some slag. Okay, so let's go ahead and claim this. We get eight more. And 64 slag. Ah, not quite there yet. Okay, so now we can, in theory, or at least we should be able to, in theory, go build ourselves a water wheel. And I'm going to run over this way here. I'm pretty sure we should be able to. There we go, the water wheel. Come on. Yeah, water power. Very nice. Where's this at? Boom. Yay! Black stuff, huh? Okay, anyway, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up off-camera so that we can get ourselves some power going And um, I'll be right back. The only reason I'm setting this up off-camera is because I am derpy when it comes to it And we're running low on time <laughs> So, uh, yeah We will get this done and then we'll call it an episode. Yay for uh, immersive engineering! I said it right that time. Alright, we'll see you <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So we've got ourselves some more steel I just grabbed a bunch and threw another ingot in because I had it on me and why not but check it out We've got our water wheel going. It's kind of not the world's most beautiful looking piece of equipment, but Check it out. We're getting power. Check it out the top there. We are getting IF <laughs> Power mission accomplished goal accomplished today. We did it excellent So um, let's look at the setup of this most of you guys know this but I'm sure but um, for the handful of you who don't, uh, the way that you do this is you put your kinetic dynamo down first and then you place the water wheel up against it. And then the trick is just one side of center of the water wheel, you're going to want to place a water source block and you want to make sure that it only goes one direction so the wheel actually spins and then you leave some space on these sides so that the water can flow through and the flowing water causes oh, the um, causes the wheel to spin which creates the power, the electricity, whatever we want to call it, IF. So it actually wraps all the way down and then goes, I don't know if you can see, but it goes underneath here a little bit as well. So as much surface moving water as you can get around in the same direction of this water wheel, the better. So that is it. We got it. We did it. Hooray! I don't know how much RF or IF a tick we're getting, but oops, you can see 
We're already almost at 100,000, so this guy is almost full, which is good. So we're ready to start moving into some more interesting and fun things. We'll start those in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me. We busted through a bunch of immersive engineering stuff, and uh, we finally have power. Hooray! So thanks, thanks again. Appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!